So, maybe you don't know how to read music. Maybe you can read music, but you don't have a piano. Don't have a MIDI keyboard. Maybe you got three fingers on one hand and you can't play chords. Maybe you rage smashed your keyboard because you were playing 2K and you needed something to hit. I don't know, whatever it is, no need to fear. Dr. Trey is here and I'm about to show you guys the literally the easiest way to make chords and chord progressions in Logic. Coming soon to on video and DVD. Tim, don't wanna pull it to the party, you can say it's two times that I came in the whip. I'm so wavy, need like two shots. Yes, sir, ski was good in a hoodie like a boogie. I'm back, I'm better like Bryson Taylor with another video. See Jojo over there in the background playing 2K. Like I said in the beginning, today I'm gonna be showing you guys the easiest way to make chords and chord progressions uh. in Logic. Now you guys know me. I don't know no type of technical nothing. All the stuff that I'm teaching you guys is from years. And when I'm telling you years, I mean yeah, yeah. years. Like years, 365 days times two, three, four, five, six worth of research and being smart and being efficient. So that's my thing. I'm trying to teach you guys how to be efficient. I'm not a technical dude that's like this percentage and this of this, that. nah. It's like I'm trying to get something done and let's do it. You feel me? So let's head into logic. Now if you're confused at what's going on here, why stuff is already open, it's because this is one of my presets. I think this is the preset for a gonna be. If you guys want me to like make the presets into a thing that you guys can have, let me know and I'll try and figure it out. But anyways, the main focus is chords, all right? What you're gonna do is go down here to MIDI effects Click it and there's gonna be a thing called chord trigger right after the arpeggiator. Click that and it's gonna take you into a plugin that will literally play chords for you. You don't need to know any type of scales, music theory, nothing. This will play the chords for you. There's different ones you can go through. Look, guitar open chords, major, minor, blues, diatonic, jazz, pop, songwriter, boom. The ones I use mostly, the major, I don't know if this is bar, barre, if it's French or whatever, let's just say bear for the sake of the video. I use this, the major and minor. I use the diatonic left hand and right hand. Sometimes I use the pop left and right hand and sometimes I use the songwriter left and right hand. Now, majority of the time, if I'm just making a beat and focused on a beat, I'll probably just use either diatonic or the major and minor. If I'm making a beat in mind for a song, I'll use the songwriter left and right because the progressions are more easy for when you're writing a song to do the melodies. So if you click on the drop down menu, it'll actually tell you the multi and the single. And in multi you see guitar voicings, keyboard voicings, parallel chords. So obviously the guitar voicings are the chords that usually if you're using a guitar instrument, but I like to use the major and minor for regular instruments as well. Keyboard voicings, when you're using a keyboard, you know, parallel chords are just parallel chords. And the single, this is when it gets a little more difficult. If you're using the single, you need to know what you're doing if you're using the extended harmonies because all this stuff, augmented, dominant, major, minor, I don't know what none of that means. The intervals are a little bit easier. This is like octave, perfect fourth, fifth. So the octave, if I click octave and then I press a chord or a note, just one note. You see how down at the bottom, the two pop up? But you can't even really tell, so let me switch the instrument. Okay, so like I was saying, octave is the same one note, one octave up. There's two ways to do this. You can start from the keys, whether you're using the keyboard, like the Command K keyboard, or you have a MIDI keyboard. You can start from the notes. So let me turn this off. Say I was playing C, D, and E. Single notes. You can plan the progression you want with the single notes and then just flip through the chord trigger to see which one sounds the best. All right, let's say I was gonna play this. I could just play that, turn on the chord trigger and then go through and see which ones I like. Let's start with the left hand. I don't really like that. It doesn't really sound good. It might be easier to hear if I use a piano, so let me just use a piano. And let me try the major and minor. So major. Minor. That's all right, but I still don't really like it. Diatonic. 
that sounds more like what I was trying to go for, right? Let me try one more. Let's try the pop. No, let's try the songwriter. See, so none of those sound good. Or you could do something simple like the octave. And then you'll get exactly what you want. But so far, the chord I like the most is probably the diatonic. That's the first way. Or the second way is you could start in the chord trigger. I don't know why I keep doing this. Like, what am I doing with my hands? Like, I'm stacking Lego bricks or something. You could start in the chord trigger and plan it out that way. I'm gonna try and figure out a melody by just playing with random chords. Let's try songwriter, right hand. So, if you don't know what the right hand and left hand means, is the right hand, like, imagine you're playing a piano. The right hand is gonna be the higher octaves, the left hand is gonna be the lower octaves. So I'm gonna do songwriter. I could do something like this, where you just play it in the chords. Now, I'm gonna try and find an example of one of the instruments that it doesn't work with so you can see what I mean. Yeah, see, look. Grand piano and pad, there's no MIDI effects like if I was on this piano and it had the MIDI effects. I don't know why, but just some of them don't work like that, so just beware if that's what you're looking for. Now, also, if you wanna transpose it, you can transpose it right here in the plugin. This part down here in the corner that says chord transpose, so if I'm playing it, let me turn off the mic. And I wanna change it. One, two octaves, three octaves, four octaves. And none of those sound good because it really depends on the chord that you're playing and the chord progression that you're playing. Like not every chord progression is gonna sound good in every octave or every note, you know? Now let me try and do a beat really quickly out of this. This is Splice, if you guys don't know, I use Splice all the time. Cause just for the sake of time, I'm just trying to show you guys how to incorporate this into something. I'm not really taking my time on this beat. Hey, 
I just wanna ride in the best seat, double up rolls and a fennin can't catch me. I just wanna ride in the best seat, double up rolls and a fennin can't catch me. I just wanna ride in the best seat. All right, let me stop playing, bro. But you see how easy it is to just slap that together, put it in a beat, and it just starts working. It's literally that simple. One tool to fix everything. You don't need to know how to play no type of music. Comment down below if you have any questions or anything else you want me to explain. Also, comment down below what's your favorite instrument to use with a chord. Like, which one makes it sound nice? Maybe I might, you know, get some ideas from you guys too. Make sure you subscribe, stay safe, stay faithful. I'm out.